and welcome at the next episode of Stocks Advisor channel. At our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks, and also we discuss stocks that did attract a lot of attention during the latter trading session. Today, we'll speak about this company, uh, Eastman Kodak, which is uh, traded on New York Stock Exchange, ticket name uh, KODK Kodak, and actually the market capitalization at the moment is about 700 millions, to be more precise, 705 million. And of course, the current price action you see here, it's still intraday, white, yellowish uh, candle. We're trading here with uh, about 12.17% plus, of course, slightly changing and still not final, but it's a significant move uh, here. Of course, um, there is a lot of expectation, attention at the Kodak because we remember this move by end of uh, July, July, beginning of August. Of course, it was incredible and uh, everyone is hoping for this. But from that moment, what we see is actually the price decline and then these spikes kind of aftermaths after the huge shock wave. Uh, the last one, the latter one was actually the December 7. And now it's kind of decline. Now it's expectation of hope for another kind of shock wave. So if this is happening, we might make our profit. And we know these shock waves were quite strong here. If you uh, would draw it. Uh, kind of try to draw the line uh, to which levels this could go. It is actually quite high, it's somewhere in the vicinity of 12. Uh, with actually, uh, you can even draw a kind of uh, range here. So from 12 to 15. And within, within this range, uh, these volatility levels V1, V2, it's expectation that price will spike there again and still might be happening, of course. Uh, we will see, um, and on this hope we might play and make, uh, prepare our trading. And as always, um, before starting here, we have our free moving averages depicted at our channel that we use for analysis. These are moving averages 20, 50, and 200. Being green, blue, and red line correspondingly here on the left and the circle, you see their legend. So what do we see from those? Of course, the free moving averages are now um, behaving such that moving average 200 is uh, steady growing. Uh, almost with no acceleration, just a linear steady grow. Uh, moving averages 20 and 50 are uh, sequentially making, uh, actually playing around each other and making magic crosses up and down, crossing each other. But now it looks like, if you look more carefully, uh, moving average um, 20 is kind of not completely going to pierce from the top moving average 50, but might actually they all go uh, might go again up together opening the free moving averages and forming and continuing to form so-called uh, 20, 50, 200 pattern. So it will be then something like this. And we are now here at the moment. So if this is happening, if we indeed form so-called 20, 50, 200 pattern, this would mean that we are starting to really steady grow with the company and might go higher heights. Uh, still would be very interesting to observe this, although not confirmed yet, and uh, once this is happening, it will be, a, let's say, mid-term, very interesting to hold the stock because also, if you look carefully, it seems like not really clearly uh, confirmed visible, but it seems like it's also um, making with the lows, so-called uh, higher lows, but also so-called parallel move with moving average 200. So this T1 line looks like it's going parallel with moving average 200. So it might be becoming slightly slightly um, bullish and once this is true if this is true we indeed can make the, the play here so then uh, with this all taking into account of course we also see that rsi is again trying to go high it might be still spiking here and only then going overboard area because once you saw it only on the previous aftermath this jump uh, by 7 of december if you look at um, macd histogram Although on this huge uh, scale, it's not seen because the action of August actually descaled everything. But if you look carefully, you see it's now about to cross from the bottom upwards. So it creates some positive momentum here. So with this having said, it's it's still nice to try to play it because T1 is the, in the vicinity. Uh, still action is quite big. So you can buy, let's say, within the current candle size already. Um, if you like, and uh, let's draw it here. So the entry would be already advised here. And then you can wait until you you, you uh, go to V1, V2 area to exit. If you like to make um, profit here, it would be quite significant actually. 
and then would be really exit otherwise further it will be purely like a casino style or hoping for further growth if some news maybe comes but technically it will be the end of the story for this after wave aftershock and of course if it starts declining then we just need to be prepared for some average downs and the very first opportunity will be immediately and moving average 200 because it shows to be very strong uh, support line and um, well because not because there was a supportive action but because it was a t1 trend was following it with parallel so looks like it's kind of uh, um, kind of a repeller so if this takes place you can just enter at moving average 200 second time and then should this uh, not work of course then you really need to be prepared for for a stronger action here and then it would be just advised to uh, to wait for the previous uh, to look for the previous let's say jumps that we saw in these vicinities and just you can uh, take it here uh, from the middle side and looking uh, for for the price action you can of course say that let's draw different colors there are these kind of after aftermath declining levels uh, each time and then you have your uh, jumps back so with this having said uh, anything in that vicinity would be a very good uh, again level to enter and uh, it would be advised to buy somewhere in this area if you would continue imaginary this uh, sorry this uh, this move so this would be quite a strong let's say uh, psychological point to re-enter of course you will need to wait a bit longer for this action because if this is happening it should be really something terrible otherwise it's not expected that we go below moving average 200 here so with this being said let's call this line um, s1 this would be r1 uh, and then you can actually uh, do a last average down in the triangle r1 as well and here's advice again to buy with one one two strategy it's four portions so it's more defensive in this case it means that you can buy the money you would like to play here you can split in four you can buy already inside of this candle uh if if it's declining then you can buy again second time at, in the vicinity of moving average 200 and if should we completely decline then of course you can buy um, second time average down here according to the entry positions described here this would be very safe very strong uh play and actually the best optimization possible of profit versus loss and actually should be very safe although if we start going lower than moving average 200 this, this could be very long play so it could go from technical daily trade as we discussed here to more like a mid-term play so you need to be prepared for this uh if you want to make profit for Kodak but this is not expected at all so the letter the, the, the lowest level is level is only expected if some bad news comes uh only then we can go here otherwise we just do restart and go again higher up and here it's advised to take profit reasonably let's say 10, 10 plus percent we always advise of course you can take longer if you like uh to wait until we go v1 v2 channel up to you but we always propose take profit 10 percent usually and go check another videos we post daily many videos also previous videos are still valid because you see advice is given in quite some time in advance so probably situations discussed in older videos are also about to happen so you can just be in time play there make the profit there so be consistently trading positively rather than trying to become rich from one trade usually it's not possible and this is kind of a reason why main, uh, majority of traders fail in their first year trading experience so with this having said good luck with Kodak again do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so already also please don't forget to uh, press the bell button this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for us based stocks